a lot of you have requested for me to do a video about Danielle Cohn, so let's do this thing. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And speaking of subscribing, you all are so amazing. I love you all so, so, so much. I asked all I wanted for Christmas was for you to follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers. And in the last like two days, we've gone up like 15 or 1600. So I'm now at 4,000. So we're not at 10,000 yet, but in case you didn't know, I just want the swipe up feature. That's all I want. <laughs> so if you haven't followed me yet, go follow me on Instagram at The Rewired Soul. So yeah, oh my God, today might be a busy day. Tristan is still out of town. Uh, so I might make three videos. I wasn't going to make this video. I've had a lot of you request it. I'm like, who the heck is Danielle Cohn? But then I was watching uh, my girl GC's video. She has the channel uh, Ready to Glare and she made a Danielle Cohn video. So after I got back from the gym, I'm eating breakfast and I decided to watch. I'm like, wait, Danielle Cohn looks familiar. So Tristan and I, we watched this series on Netflix called Follow This, and it's from BuzzFeed, right? And they dive into different topics. Some are interesting, some aren't. But uh, we watched the one about these like teenage, you know, celebrities, right? And Danielle Cohn was actually in this episode. So I'm like, oh, I know who Danielle Cohn is. And I saw interactions with her mom and they interviewed her mom and everything. But iNabber also made a video on Danielle Cohn. I know some other creators are making videos on Danielle Cohn. So GC in her video actually said this. I do think it's very concerning. And I even just wonder what happens to a person's brain, a young person's brain, when they're kind of either forced or choose to grow up fast. Like, I don't know how I would be today if at 12 or 14, I was already taking like these extravagant, a little bit too trying to be older slash sexy bikini type pictures. You know, like I don't know what that does to your psyche and I don't know what that does to your relationship with, well, I guess the opposite sex and same sex depending on if they're lesbians or attracted to women. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I do wanna dive into some psychology as well as neuroscience around what's going on with Danielle Cohn, as well as like some really important mental health topics for young people, but I think people of all ages can learn from this. So those of you who don't know who Danielle Cohn is, Danielle Cohn, to my understanding, she started out on Musical.ly and got huge on there. I think now she messes with like TikTok. She has like 2.7 million followers on Instagram too. Um, one of the things that people have been debating about is her age. Uh, she says she's 14, but I never said that, you know, there's proof that she's actually 12. But the fishy part about this video comes from the actual upload date of this video because it says that it was uploaded in June 2012, but it says that she's also six years old. And if it was uploaded on that date and she was 12, then that would make Danielle Cohn 12 years old. And like, that's not what I'm really here to talk about. Like young is young. Like your brain is developing until you're in your mid twenties, the prefrontal cortex, the important part of your brain that's responsible for like impulse control and logical decision-making and emotional regulation. That doesn't develop until your twenties. So like, I don't really care if she's 12 or 14, like some of this stuff like that's going on, like I don't even feel comfortable. Like I'm glad GC made a video on this because as an adult man, I don't feel comfortable like even looking through this girl's Instagram, like it's messed up. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, so let's talk about childhood celebrities and everything. So one of the things is, is reinforcement, right? So our brains, our brains are designed, our brains are wired for reinforcement, okay? When we get a good feeling, our brain wires itself to do that same thing again. Social media, is playing into this so much. And they actually have people with knowledge of neuroscience working at social media companies. Like, I hope you understand that social media is designed to get you hooked. Like, I'm reading this new book right now, and they were just talking about like doing things like a social media detox. I have certain views on that. Like, social media is something that I don't think you should quit. I just think you need to be more mindful of how you use it. But, we need to also be cognizant of what social media is designed to do. Social media is designed to give you spurts of dopamine, all right? So dopamine 
is what rewards you. It makes you feel good. So every time you get a like, a retweet, a share, a subscription, uh, a comment, whatever it is, that engagement, every time a little notification goes off in your phone, you get all spurts of dopamine. How do I know that? Well, there's an amazing book that I love that I think all of you should check out. It's called The Craving Mind by Dr. Judson Brewer. I'll link it down in the description. But anyways, in that book, he talks about an NPR um, episode that they did where they, they did a neurological study on teenagers using Instagram. They actually hooked them up to brain scans and they monitored their, their brain activity, right? And every time they got a like or a share or a retweet, especially on Instagram, they would get burst of dopamine. So what that's doing is it's reinforcing that. So young people such as Danielle Cohn, their brain is getting trained to become addicted and hooked on that, right? But it's the same with any type of celebrity. And like something that I wanna talk about too is, this isn't new. This is not something new. What absolutely drives me bonkers is how people do not see the parallels. Like you guys, nothing new is happening in the world. I know we have technology, but nothing new is happening. Like my biggest fear for young people in this social media age and getting famous and stuff is, is all the other childhood celebrities. Like let's talk about it real quick. Let's run through the list real quick, okay? This is a very short list, by the way. Lindsay Lohan became super messed up and she's still pretty messed up. Did any of you guys see that video where she was trying to like kidnap a girl, uh, a young girl from her family because she thought the young girl was abducted? This is the Arab, this is not Arab. You're ruining Arab culture by doing this. You're taking these children, they want to go. I'm going with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Boys, don't worry. Shoes. I'm like in shock right now. And they were trying to run to me and I'm just like so scared. I literally can't. She was twacked out of her mind, okay? And this is a childhood star. Then you have people like Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore is actually in recovery though, but she got started when she was very young. I believe they said her cocaine habit happened like when she was like 10 or 11 years old. Don't quote me on that, but it happened when she was super, super young. Okay, but Drew, like I said, Drew Barrymore is actually in recovery now. Then, then we have Amanda Bynes. A lot of you asked me to do a video about her. Um, I haven't, I don't know if I will, maybe I will, but anyways, Amanda Bynes had a very public meltdown and she got hooked on substances. She's another child star. I remember seeing her on that old Nickelodeon show, all that, um, and then I like got out of that phase and grew up a little, but anyways, she got addicted to substances and it just came out that she's like doing great and she's sober now and everything, right? So like as parents, and this is a whole nother video I can do, we need to be mindful of what we're encouraging our kids to do. Like, like my son, and many other young people, like if you ask, if you if you have kids, like ask them, ask them or ask their friends, what do you wanna be when you grow up, right? A lot of kids will tell you that they wanna be a YouTuber or, or a, a streamer on Twitch, right? And my son has a channel and we were really into it, but around that time, my channel started to grow too. And seeing how my son is developing right now, I don't know if that's the best thing for him. It's something that we do together and it's fun because we play video games and everything, but we've dialed back on it because I wanna make sure it's something that he wants to do, right? Um, for a multitude of reasons. One is the interaction, but the other is too, and this is part of a different video I can make, so let me know down in the comments below, is parents living vicariously through their children or they wanna live off their children. Um, it's something that I mentioned during the Jake Paul series with Shane Dawson and their father, Greg. And it's something that I can kind of see with Danielle Cohn's mother too, all right? Like, especially after watching the uh, Netflix uh, Follow This episode, like I'm like, uh, this is a little weird, but, Kids are growing up in a way where they're getting reinforced by these things. And in this day and age, it's so much easier than ever before to become famous, right? Like you don't have, like I remember when I was a kid, like you had to go to like a talent agency and hope you got like booked in a commercial or whatever. Like kids nowadays, if you have one of these, you have the chance to get famous, right? And that could be very dangerous. So we need to be mindful of that. But anyways, the next topic I wanna talk about in regards to mental health, is one of my fears for young people, but it's also something that all of us struggle with as adults too, is, is the message going out about reinforcement based on your appearance, right? So Danielle Cohn being 12 years old, she's learning at a very young age that looking good 
means that you'll get attention, right? You'll get the things that you want. You'll make money. Nothing wrong with that. Like there's plenty of models who love doing it, successful in their career, absolutely, right? But one of the reasons that so many people are depressed because of social media is because we're constantly comparing ourselves to others, right? We're constantly comparing ourselves saying, oh, if I could just look like that, if I could do that, then I would be happy. I made a video about Lily Singh a few weeks ago when stuff was going on with her, and I talked about how people chase these things only to find out that that's not the thing that made them happy. And I had so many comments, so many comments that talked about people who lost massive amounts of weight. Like I, re I remember seeing comments, I'll try to put them up on the screen, people who lost like 100, 200 pounds and they said they're absolutely miserable, okay? Like there's nothing wrong with being healthy and losing weight. Like I am down 50 pounds in the last year. I just got back from the gym this morning after like uh, uh, falling off my diet over the Christmas break and my mom came into town. But there's nothing wrong with being healthy. But for our mental health, we need to understand that achieving a certain look does not guarantee our happiness, okay? It can help with your health, it can maybe help you with some confidence, but if that is your only thing that you're working on and you're not working on this thing up here, no matter what you look like, you can still be mentally unwell. So that's one of my fears with young women and even young men looking at people like Danielle Cohn getting famous off their looks and things like that because we're teaching our new generation, this younger generation, that you need to look a certain way to be successful, right? And and this is this is upsetting because I've did, uh, I, I've made more videos about like eating disorders lately, like when referencing like Eugenia Cooney and everything. And there's so many young people out there, not just women, although uh, uh, statistically it's more likely for women, but there's also young men too who are looking at these images and they aspire to be that way, which could then lead to eating disorders. It can also lead to other things like body dysmorphia and all that kind of stuff. So like there are many issues here, like like as far as like, you know, her, her pictures and stuff, like all I know is that if I had a daughter like, oh, this would be messed up. Hell, if my son, if my son was doing this, I'd be a little messed up about it, all right? But again, if you want me to do more videos on different topics in regards to Danielle Cohn, let me know down in the comments below or let me know your thoughts. Let me know how uh, social media uh, triggers your dopamine or how you um, compare yourself to others that you see on social media, all right? And speaking of social media, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Let's get me to 10,000 followers so I can get the little swipe up, all right? <laughs> That's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I got some really cool stuff coming up for patrons in 2019. So if you would like to sign up, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.